Hey everyone, Ify here. In this video, as the title says, I want to discuss about most worn fragrances in my city. I was about to make a video about most worn fragrances in my country, but then I thought there are reviewers living in the same country and this is going to be a tag video and they might have different opinions so why not narrow it down to cities? So there you go guys, most worn fragrances in my city. Now let me clear things out. When I say most worn fragrances in my city, I mean the fragrances that I smell the most on other people when going shopping in malls, grocery shops, supermarkets, in parks, in the subway, in the bus and everywhere else there are people. And here I'm talking about both men and women. Let's start with the least most worn fragrance and then proceed forward to the most worn fragrance. For men, the number three most worn fragrance in Bucharest, Romania. That's right, the capital of Romania. That's where I'm currently living in. The number three most worn fragrances for men here is Tom Ford Black Orchid. I know that's a fragrance for ladies, but men here like to wear it. And it's really weird because they are even wearing it right now during summer, during this high heat. Sometimes it's driving me crazy. But that's another topic. If you like wearing it, wear it. I'm not telling you you shouldn't wear it during this time of the year, but you shouldn't. If you're still not familiar with Tom Ford's Black Orchid, it is a very strong, sweet, flowery fragrance. Now ladies, do not wear this one as much as the guys, but for the ladies, the number three most worn fragrance in my city, it's Thierry Mugler's Alien. This is most worn amongst the most worn fragrances, but this one, I wish many other ladies would wear it because I love it. It's such a classy, stylish fragrance. I don't find it playful as Angel, also by Thierry Mugler, but this one is like a more serious version. Now, while this one is the number three spot of the most worn fragrances for ladies in my city, it is really in the shadow of the other two that are about to follow up. So let's proceed forward. Number two most worn fragrances for men is Invictus by Paco Rabanne. And this is going for years now. And I'm okay with it. It's not such a disturbing scent. Even though I do not wear it personally, I enjoy it smelling it on other people. It's quite a nice scent. It does not bother the people around, but definitely not a unique scent. For the ladies, the number two most worn fragrance here in Bucharest, Romania is Chanel's Mademoiselle. Now this is a fragrance that is most worn by women from 25 years above. It's not a very young lady fragrance, but it's not also very mature as, for example, Chanel's number five. No, this one is more sweet, it is more modern, it is a bit playful, but at the same time, it leans more into the serious side of fragrances. So it better suits a business type of woman. And finally, the number one spot, the most worn fragrance here. Which one is it, guys? You probably already know, it's no mystery, and no, it is not Aventus. People around here do not afford buying Aventus, and they don't really know, not many people know about the clones. So what other fragrance does have the Aventus vibe and does Gardner compliment? Dior's Sauvage. And guys, when I say this is the most worn fragrance here, it is worn, all right? Like, everybody wears that. You go everywhere, you smell your Sauvage. And they also go heavy on the trigger because, guys, you already know how crazy strong your Sauvage is. And these people go nuts with the sprayer. Everywhere in public places, there are clouds of your Sauvage perfume. And now the ladies, kind of of the same thing with your Sauvage. 
the most warm fragrance for ladies and this one is a more youthful fragrance it is most worn by the younger ladies but the more but the mature ladies also wear it i mean they don't really have a problem wearing this fragrance even if it's so damn sweet i'm talking about lancome la vie est belle i don't know what's up with this fragrance but it's always in your face if i don't know if you, if the ladies wear too much of it but you are always able to smell it on them and you know the fragrances for ladies tend to be a bit more strong la vie est belle is kind of on the same level with your sauvage men wear the sauvage as much as ladies wear la vie est belle so these were the three most worn fragrances in bucharest romania what i want to hear now what i want to see from you fragrance reviewers ben daniel from bangalore india i'm really curious man what do people wear in that high heat because i had subscribers saying that they were fragrances that for me were strong and they said they, they did not get the performance they barely smell them and i also see people on wearing oud fragrances on 40 degrees celsius on that very high heat and that's why i'm really really curious to see what are people wearing in india my man i also want to tag chad from a gentleman's journey i know he is like the collabs legend so chad what are the three most worn fragrances in your city and guys who are watching this video this is also applicable to you please let me know by commenting below which are the three most worn fragrances in your city and until the next video guys keep smelling great